Hello there, my hey. flock. The Bad Raven here with the man, the myth, the legend. Drew Drop. Drew Drop. Where are we at today, Drew Drop? We're at the Millsboro Theater. And what are we going to see today? Uh, I'm seeing a sequel that I never thought I'd ever get, and it's kind of weird that it came out now. Well, it came out last year, you know, late last year, 2022, but we're just now watching it because we're kind of late. But that is Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Yeah, and the Drew Drop just mentioned that we saw the original uh, Puss in Boots here back in the day. Yep. I, when I was a kid, we watched the original Puss in Boots here at this exact same theater back in 2011. So it was, so it's been about, well, that's a nine, 10, 11, 12, plus 12 years. But almost close to 12 years ago, we watched the first one in here. You were very small. <laughs> I was a really young kid when we watched it. Cause I remember, I remember the movie. I haven't watched the first movie that much, but I do like the first movie. I just haven't watched it that much. Like it's been a long time since we've gotten the first movie. So I kind of thought it was really crazy that they chose now around now to do the yeah. the sequel it's like what it's like exactly. that was a long gap in between sequels yeah it's kind of like uh avatar sequels <laughs> yeah about avatar length <laughs> but yeah we're gonna go in there it's tuesday night I get a discount up here at the golden ticket cinemas so we come up here to watch uh, this movie. Plus, our movie theater is not open. Yeah, our movie theater, so they're just, they're just not open. They're yeah. never open. So we decided just to come down here. And I wanted to have some fun. And I heard the movie was a good, fun movie. And I really, really want to see the movie. Because a lot of my friends on social media said that I really, really like this movie. So I can't wait to go in there and check out Puss in Boots' adventure right now. So, so we're going to head on in. And we'll give you our spoiler-free review when we come back out. Oh, yeah. See you on, see you on the side. side. I am known by many names. The Stabby Tabby, El Macho Gato, the Lecce Whisperer. I am Puss in Boots. Holy frijoles. You, lunch me. And the rest of you, play double time. Hey, Giant! Wanna see something cool? Gracias, you've been great! Get home safely! Good night! You're still here? Okay, okay, one more number. I call this one, the legend will never die! I have bad news. You died. Doctor. Relax! I am Puss in Boots! I have nine lives! And how many times have you died already? Uh, uh, I am not really a math guy. Hola, señorita. Do you like gazpacho? Does this have shellfish in it? A cat always lands on his feet. Watch! 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 <laughs> And then there was the giant today. So what is that, like uh, a four? That makes eight, Puss. What do you wish to do with your last life? When you only have one life, that's what makes it special. Drive, perro! Fear me if you dare. Goldilocks and the Three Bears Crime Family. You're supposed to be dead. Eh. It never fails. Whenever I team up with you, things go wrong. Trust me. You gotta trust him. Look at those eyes. You call that cute? <gasps> and with the paws, it's all so cute. <sighs> Am I doing it? Stop. You're gonna give yourself a hernia. Okay, hey. we're back out of the movie. Now it's... Uh... It may, yeah, we just got out of the movie. Now, it may look like that we didn't go anywhere because it's still dark. <laughs> yeah. But we actually did go and watch the movie. So. I thought it was a good little cartoon. I mean, mm -hmm. I was actually didn't want to come, and Drew Drop kind of talked me into it. But I didn't know Florence Pugh was in it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, you have to watch and see what character she is in this. I thought it had a lot of uh, action as far as the cartoon goes and mm -hmm. really good story. I thought it was very original. 
I yeah. thought it did a really good job, and it kind of goes with the Shrek movies the way that they use the fairy tale char characters. Yeah, it's kind of, it, they use the fairy tale characters like the Shrek movies because it's in the same universe. I'm glad yeah. I hadn't seen a trailer for this for like forever, so I didn't even know what to expect. So mm -hmm. it was kind of neat to go in blind. I know about the Puss in Boot character with Banderas, and and I could tell that the the female cat was. Um, can't pronounce we'll have her. the name right here. But uh, she, I could tell her voice. That's why I couldn't. I didn't know who was Florence Pugh had played at the time, but it showed at the end. Thought it was just a well done a little thing. Take your kids out to see it. Very good family fun. I have to agree too. This movie was really a surprise for me. Like a lot of my buddies on the internet was like, like I wasn't going really like crazy to watch this movie. That's why I kind of missed it when it first came out a couple weeks ago. But then my buddies were like, hey, bro, you need to watch this movie. It's pretty good. And I was like, really? I don't know. And then I was like, okay, I want to have some fun. And it's fun. It's yeah. a fun movie. It's a good, fu a fun movie, funny movie, too. And the actual, like, the message, like, the <laughs> like the, the deeper meaning of the movie, I thought was really, really good for kids. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really, really good for little kids to, to learn there. And, oh, my gosh, the animation. Oh my gosh, the animation was just incredible. It was. I first saw the choppy what they did with the action scenes there, and they kind of did a little bit of different act, different way they did the yeah. action. I first didn't like it, but as I watched it, I liked it better. Yeah, because they'll like they'll be like smooth three D animation, and when they start fighting, it's like more like yeah. a hand drawn kind of thing. They kind of did like the Spider Verse kind of thing. It kind of reminds me of Spider Verse mm -hmm. in that way when they kind of moved like a two D like a in a three D environment. Mm -hmm. I thought that was how they kind of emulated. They kind of wanted to emulate that Spider-Verse kind of look. And it looked awesome. I thought the soundtrack was really, really good. And it was just a fun movie. So I'd say just go see it, guys. I mean, if you guys want to take a good... Take, have your a good, family out. take your family out and just have a good time. This is a good movie to watch. And I'd say I second it. Just go see it from the Bad Raven also. Great family film. Great way to uh, mm -hmm. take a good message. Uh, just good storytelling all the way around i thought oh yeah do you got anything else to say about it there drew drop that's it well we just we figured we'd just pop this out here you know it's been out for a few weeks but uh, see it before it leaves theaters uh you will, you will not be disappointed and we like to say thank you all for uh, exactly watching these videos and please like share and subscribe this mm -hmm. and share with all your friends as you can we're going on a road to a thousand subscribers and we're doing really good with that and we hope that you can make us go even further uh and please come back for more reviews. Uh, always remember the Bad Raven is your friend, and we appreciate you here on the Bad Raven channel. Check out the merch. We're selling merch, too, and hopefully you'll uh, mm -hmm. pick something out to support the Drew Drop and the Bad Raven. So we're going to let you go, and from the Drew Drop, the Drew Drop and the Bad Raven, we're going to let you go, and we'll talk at you later, and Drew Drop out. Goodbye.